crazy. You were the second person in two days to ask that. Well, I got a little YouTube channel. And I think it'd be cool for people to kind of see yeah. how you, what you're doing and what, how you're doing it. Absolutely. What's like the what's the normal process just dig down so yeah just uh hand auger down um since y'all have gotten to like residual soil mm -hmm. i'll just go down like two feet yeah and then use this this thing's called a dynamic cone pentrometer which sounds wow. fancier than it, it is so dcp yeah just has like increments every inch and three quarter mm -hmm. and so i'll show you here in a second yeah for sure um it has like a 25 pound hammer right here. Yeah. So I'm counting how many blow counts dropping that it takes to go from one increment to the next. Cool. That tells you. Yeah. Like. And what's what's good soil? Um, six blows on that for indicate 2,000 pounds per square foot. Okay. And that's pretty good compaction. Yeah. Anything above that obviously is, you know, more stiff. Yeah. That's 15. This is really stiff. So that's good. Yes, sir. That's cool. great. Just came from a townhome up in Charlotte, and the whole right side had to be undercut two feet. Now, uh, how often does that thing break? <laughs> um, it's a lot of force you're putting yeah, on it. Yeah, you see right here, too, like the roll yeah. pin in that. So it's the only design flaw. The biggest design flaw on this is like it breaks down into like three parts. So, oh, so yeah, right there four technically I guess because like this the tip yeah it's put in there with like a roll pin. And so that's the biggest thing is just roll pin snapping off because yeah if the ground is like wetter kind of yeah you'll, to, you'll see I have to kind of like It'll beat it up off, yeah. to get it out. Um and then right there it's like welded together. I had one break off there. Sometimes this little thing which lets you slide the hammer off yeah yeah you know, it's just like metal on metal constantly beating so you have to replace some stuff and then this thing's pretty pricey pretty specialized uh, i don't know it's just a dude in a garage for, honestly yeah um every time i go into the office um i just like stock up on roll pins yeah this is the biggest thing and then see right here i'm kind of hitting a rock or something yeah. so usually that's where I stop and call it hand auger refusal. And then after a while, if you get like really rocky soil, like the teeth on yeah. the hand auger will bend and snap off. But sometimes you're able to work around it. What's the deepest you've ever had to go with that thing? You put so, extensions on it? Yeah, and stuff? there's extensions. Uh, five six feet usually oh, okay. but if um if it's soft like past five feet yeah that's when you start like entertaining the idea of like caissons and Pylons. timber piles yep 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 Yeah, well, 
kind of, I guess. Uh, Honestly, nice. it's your eye. <clears throat> Graduated from UNC Charlotte back in 2019. I studied Earth and Environmental Science. Yeah. Which I guess, uh, you know, gives me some insight to like soils, but I wasn't a geology major or anything like that. Took geology courses, but, and then also I worked as a plumber's helper with my uncle uh, for a while. And so this job's like a lot of construction and like, I guess, soil science oh, yeah, man. put together. <laughs> Well, I got five, five, seven. So okay. that's why I went to three different notches. Because usually, unless you get like fifteen, mm -hmm. you like go three notches and so take still the good. average. So that's good. Okay, it's still cool. good. Yeah. I mean, this is where they're wearing too. Yeah. Sometimes. It's a little lid on it. Yep. I do one kind of bad. I think uh, so far, right there is the only spot we hit that I kind of thought mm. was kind of bad, you know? The way right it looks. Yeah, the way it looks. Trying with the pool towel. Yeah. Stuff. I think it, if anything's gonna be the worst part of the pool, would probably be that. Right. The thing about bull tallow is like, it sucks digging. Mm hmm. Um, you know, if it's just that little area, I don't think it would make too okay. big of a difference. But you don't wanna like, so I've heard like your entire footings for your house is on the bull tallow. Oh, yeah. It's not the best because it, uh, Will contract and expand. Yeah, I'm gonna get wet. The cold. Yeah, water and stuff. See, and crack a foundation, won't it? Yeah. See, that's more. So a lot of times you'll get like where it's like even pure, like. Oh yeah, we've seen it, we've that. seen it worse than that for yeah. sure. Appreciate it. No worries, man. It's a lot heavier than it looks. Yeah, the thing, it's like, it's more awkward than anything. Just like carrying it further my shoulders, and especially if I'm like trying to carry all this. This ain't too bad down here. It's just, you know, pretty level, but stepping over footings and stuff. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. So that uh, first one, is that okay? Yeah. No, I mean this one. This, oh this yeah. Yep. Here, yeah. Cool. Is that what you were asking earlier, like why I went three notches? Oh well, yeah. I was confused. I thought you said uh, if it goes one notch and seven hits. Six we, hits is 2,000 psi. Well, I'm counting in my head, like gotcha. So how got, many yeah. it takes to go to like each so one went, of these, but I do like, three so and then 20, you like, like average it. Okay, I got yeah. you. If that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Cause then you, know, you can get all the layers at once. 
Now the first one I did over there, the reason I stopped just one notch is because it took 15 yeah, just to plus get... blow counts to just go up one. So yeah, which, you is, know, oh, which yeah. is very good. Yeah. My few bags is cold, but you can't see anything out of this window. Yeah. I got 8811. You were pretty close. You were just counting the sound. Cool. So that's good. Yeah, these were good. I mean, if you want me to do one more. If you want to do one on that side, I mean. Right here, but. Yeah. I mean, because then uh, that'd be set then, right? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> A lot of people, like builders, ask, like, well, it's like the deeper you go down, like, the better it should be, right? I'm like, well, not always. Yeah, it just depends, depends on, like, the yep. type of soil. If it was, like, fill soil or residual soil. Sometimes, like, I've been working here in January, it'll be a year. And, like, I can already, like, when I get my job emails, yeah. It's like I, I kind of know like certain developments. Be like, yeah. so like, like oh, oh, I did. I have lot 17. Well, I've already done like 19, 14, and those yeah. are crap. You know, like the townhouses I was talking about. They, mm -hmm. they just had. I think the whole, you know, uh, neighborhood had bad fill soils. Yeah. And there's so old piles yeah. and undercuts. Well, just about everyone I've done out there. So. He does like all the reviewing and whatever, and you know, since I'm the guy on the field, like. Yep. I'm telling them like, oh, it was bad. Yeah. In this corner, and then you isolate where the soft soils are. And you're like, all right, they need to yeah. undercut two feet for like 15 feet in each direction. And so they like review all that and they send it out. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a good question. I don't even know how much like builders pay to uh, for, like a typical footing. That's really good. That's 15. Yeah. So that's why I just go one notch. Yeah. Here. But I have heard we are just like one of the best, like getting out in a timely manner. So, like, you know, county or city inspectors or I guess other companies, I don't yeah. know. Like, they don't have enough manpower power or well, I thought everybody's, everybody's busy, yeah. but we're good about like. I mean, we'll get there the day of, like a lot of county and city, it's like, you know, I, and sometimes, I don't know how many Mecklenburg County inspectors there are, but. If you work for, you work for uh, Summit or? Huh? You work for Summit or? No, I work for GTA, so okay. like same. Same concept? So, yeah, Summit does the same. Now, do you also do the uh, like concrete core samples and shit like that? Yeah, so yeah. we, uh, so I'm, uh, what I'm doing, this is considered like our builder services side, mm -hmm. so you know doing soil compaction testing if the footings have already been poured but they prep a slab you know with yeah. like 57 stone and stuff check that below grade wall rebar and stuff like that you but also we have a uh, whole other we also x-ray concrete walls to make sure the right amount of rebar and the right size and stuff correct yeah yep yep but then we also have guys who are like on the cot side and they're more of like mass grading projects mm -hmm. so like you know, mm -hmm. new gauge, uh, 
like asphalt density testing and oh, yeah. mass grading and concrete. We have like a lab. Just yep. Put all your little cores in a cooler, 28 yep. days and crush them. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Uh, when I was brought on, we've just been so busy on the builder service. Side. Oh, yeah, you're going to be slammed like, out here. You know, I've been doing the footings, which is like, it's pretty cool. I like the job because it's like very independent work. I mean, I like yeah, being around exactly. people, like, you know, but like you can cool just, people like y'all. You do your own thing, you know? Right. I don't have to go into an office, I like leave my house and. Go to yeah. my, hit my route of sites for that day and just get an email tonight and tell you where to go. Yep, correct. Yep. Yeah, I got a, I got a friend who's a home inspector. And it's the same concept. Yeah. I'll get an email at night and tells them where to go. Yep. The only thing kind of sucks for like planning. It's not like a yeah. nine to five job. Right. You know what I mean? I bought a car last week and like the sales guy was like, hey man, like, when do you think you can come by? like finish signing the papers and I'm like dude I'm like I don't know you know what I mean it depends on like where my jobs are that day if everything goes right like if nothing fails then I can move on mm -hmm. quicker but but besides that it's pretty cool so if it fails what's your line of like what's your course of action so like theoretically this one's not gonna fail I could tell when I was digging it was stiff but so but say like this one I got failing values, so mm -hmm. I do a couple additional borings to kind of get like a general sense. Well, yeah, you, you know, I, yeah, and then you just kind of like undercut when you just dig deeper, remove like the soft upper soils, and then about kind of like already done, you know, over, I mean? anything over five foot, you would probably recommend pylons or piers, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then if you're like sometimes you'll be boring down and like three, four feet down, and then you can like still see water like getting uh -huh. in the bottom of the boring and you're like probably, probably gonna need yeah. timber piles yep. yeah 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 and then um you know there's actually like a good amount of creeks like in the shore oh, yeah. area you know mm -hmm. i mean they're just building houses everywhere you know, like you'll get residual soles but they're like that light bluish gray sandy you know, stuff about exactly sandy still. Yeah, anytime yeah. you hit that man it's bad it's bad news so yeah you gotta that's usually when you're talking mm -hmm. timber piles or caissons or sometimes they can undercut it if it's just like three or four feet but still paying above the water i think personally once you hit that yeah and like it's down there three four feet and like you're probably looking at timber piles but So she's good, right? Yes, sir. You are good to go. Hey, I got a question. When it comes to these, yeah, what's the proper way to use these and, and tell if it's good or not? I see guys hanging on them. I see guys doing handstands on them. Yeah. Is there a certain way? You're not really supposed to like to just kind of use that as it's a, supposed to be like kind of one point. I I honestly don't have like yeah a correct answer for you because you know some dudes you will see and they'll be yeah. Well, and this is kind of this is like a fiberglass one. Yeah, I'll show you. Like, you got a metal one, right? So I've kind of just gotten like a feel for my and like sometimes yeah. I will just like probe and be like, you know what I mean? That's good. And I, like how? Many, so it's just a feel thing. I mean, yeah, and that's what. Like so, if I you mean, this it, thing's annoying, and if you probe this over here right. with, with your metal probe, you know, we, you're not gonna get that bend. Like but you, you can get it to go in there. Can you get it to go in? I mean, like, so if you, if you did that, that's okay? Yeah, like, that's... That's okay. Right. All right. Because, you know, I got... You know what I mean? We got builders that we build for that if it does that, it's bad. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, see, like, I mean, you can feel that's... Yeah, I don't feel the difference on that. You're not going to get, like, a bend and... Oh, yeah. That does, I mean, so you can just kind of use your judgment to it. Right, and yeah. if it's like border, like what I think is like, yeah. ah, like I'm not sure, I think that's good, but let yeah. me check, that's when I just like yeah. get that, you know what I mean? Because cool. a lot of builders get like annoyed like using that, but I'm like, dude, yeah. I'm not out here to be like yeah. nitpicky, like, I don't get any joy exactly. out of like, finding soft shit. Like, right. It makes my job harder and longer, 
it holds up everybody but you know what i mean mm -hmm. if you're gonna build a house like whenever i save up enough money and build myself a house like I want to make sure the damn like yeah, foundations are good because like, yeah, it doesn't matter what you build above it. And it's there's crap. Putting his name on it. So. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. I appreciate it, man. Absolutely. And Tyler, you said. Yes, sir. And Josh, yeah, Joshua, it. and Zach. Yep. Cool. Thanks, bro. Yes, sir.